I'm going to go ahead and take the carburetor off and clean it of this Toro because I just can't get this thing to continue running. It'll, it'll attempt to start when you prime it then cut right back off. I don't know if the float is stuck, but I'm going to go ahead and take this off and take this cover off to give it a little bit easier access. I cleaned around this carburetor real good before I take it off. It was full of debris. And I'm going to take this off with the gas line and gas tank because it's got a lot of gas still in the tank and I don't want to spill anything. And it's just a sealed carburetor. There's no real settings. This is just a high or idle screw. And we'll get the linkage off and there's two bolts here, one on the other side. And we'll get this carburetor off. And to get to this bolt here, you end up having to take the muffler off. And then you can get a 3 8 inch socket in there. A little mean to get to, but we'll get this out. And there we go, we got the carburetor off and with the gas tank and line still attached, so I won't have to spill any gas. So now we're going to take this apart and see what it looks like. So the carburetor is now off and separated from the gas line from the tank. I'm going to clean this up really good before I take it apart. And I also drain the gas out of here. This is a clip that just kind of pops into that carburetor. And uh, there is no debris or water in this gas and it's flowing good from the pipe and the tank. So hopefully we just got a stuck float. So we're going to clean this and take the carburetor apart. Well, we now have a very clean carburetor off the Toro Recycler. And I've also got a screw here. I need to find out exactly what that is, but I'm going to go ahead and take the bowl off this and see what we can find in here. going to drop everything into a clean water jug here. And that is about as clean as you can get. Let's see if this is moving up and down. It appears it is, so let's just take all this out. Big pin in here. And the float and the needle came right out. So this is a very clean carburetor. I don't really see anything wrong, but a lot of little holes here to run through, make sure it's all clean. Well, I got everything clean here. This was a nozzle, the little screw that I saw, with a, a couple of little holes in it. Cleaned all that out. And the bowl nut also has some holes in it. Cleaned that out. Everything looks really good. The bowl and the carburetor. So let's uh, assemble this back together. Didn't really see anything obviously wrong with this carburetor as far as it being dirty. And that just seats in there. And get this float and pin in there. All right, we got the float in there, and it seems to be operating very smoothly with the needle moving up and down. 
and I can blow through this hole when the float is down and can't blow in it when it's up. So that's telling me it should get gas in there. Put the bowl nut back on. Bowl and nut. And there we go. Took my time putting that back on because of the gasket. Make sure it seals good. And I can blow in this when it's this direction, which means there's no gas in it, which means gas should flow in the bowl. And if I turn it upside down, I can't blow in it. So that shows me the needle is cutting off. So I'm going to put this back on. And there we go, the carburetor is back on. And gas tank. I always like taking the gas tank and line and carburetor off all at the same time because you don't spill gas. It comes out all in one piece. So we're going to put the muffler back on and we'll give this a start tomorrow and see if that float was possibly sticking. It sure was moving good uh, when I put this back together. And it's all back together again. Put the muffler on and clean the air filter and put some gas in here and nothing's leaking. So that's a good thing. Put the cover back on and We'll give this a start.